Welcome Pisces to your love reading for January 7th to the 13th of 2019. Alright, so uh, let's uh, check into what's going on with you. A different kind of uh, spread that I did. So, recent past. What's been going on with you recent past for Pisces and love? So, the Eight of Cups. Definitely uh, disappointed with somebody or something. Um, walking away from somebody and kind of finding something else. Something that makes you happier. Alright. Um, being able to detach and disconnect from... Uh, an unhappy, unsatisfactory situation. So, clear by the Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. <laughs> Four of Pisces. Five of Swords. Um, that's when you, if you're frustrated by something and you really want to separate yourself from whoever it might be, um, that's a toxic kind of um, energy to give off. So, when you're in your head about something and wanting to remove yourself, that comes through in that way. So, recent past energy is stress and struggle with somebody. It could be water sign or... Um, Whatever it might be, whoever you might be around. All right. Um, let's see this week coming in. Who might be coming towards you for Pisces and love? That person might be having uh, financial issues or concerns, and maybe kind of wanting something from you and not being able to handle things on their own. So that might definitely be an issue. So spending a whole lot. Um, let's see. Play by the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And then. It's almost like wanting commitment or wanting marriage or being in a marriage. That might be an issue. We'll, we'll see. Um, the Hierophant. Um, that could be Taurus. We've the Hierophant. And then the Four of Cups is showing up. So that might be an issue. It seems like, hey, I'm having money problems right now. I can't really, you know, connect. Uh, that might be an issue. And then being in a marriage and having those issues or being in a committed relationship and then you know shutting down so um that might be an issue especially coming from the five of swords the hierophant is also five um which is still confrontation different struggles on beliefs and kind of not being able to um you know uh, agree on certain things with that person so um what might be your response for pisces the moon is there so that's um that's confusion um it could be fear that you might be thinking about it's um heightened intuition as well with the page of cups is showing up and that's uh usually a hidden connection a relationship that might be there and someone that's either already in a relationship and not telling you that that's the case and that's why the hierophant i feel is showing up i am clarify the moon again for pisces whoa <laughs> and then we have the nine of pentacles and uh um, i feel like a lot of you may need to disconnect from whoever this might be um, until things are clear for you and clear between you two where um, if you are in a relationship with a certain person I feel like that might be a, a struggle with them opening up and expressing what might be there when it comes to their finances or the reasons why they do certain things that might be unhealthy for the connection um, just depends there though what might be um, the person that you're dealing with what might their feelings be for you what might their feelings be for you for the person you're dealing with for Pisces um, the King of Cups in reverse. So their feelings, they might be um, annoyed by you. Or they might not be all that happy. Um, when this is coming through, this person might drink a lot. They might uh, do things that could be um, emotionally abusive. Or this might be something that you're doing with them. So it depends on what side of the equation that you might be on. But I feel um, the feelings, is um, the, the love and being able to be sincere and honest is, is not coming through really strong. So they might feel like you're falling out of love with them and they might feel like that. So it's a mutual issue of um, button heads or button hearts. All right. So um, let's clarify the King of Cups in reverse though. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Let's see. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. And then the High Priestess, maybe you're, you're it's like you... You're hiding something either from that person or you're holding on to something and you're not expressing how you might feel. So you might see you as very intuitive or um, knowing about what's going on, but you might not be expressing. They might not like that um, coming from you. All right. So what might they want from you, though? What might they want from you, Pisces? Right. They might want you to have fun to enjoy yourself or enjoy that person I'm <laughs> enjoy each other I'm not sure but uh, the page of wands is coming through where this is um this is coming off for a lot of people um either hanging out with them being with them being friends and kind of enjoying the connection but also children as well uh, with the page of wands showing up so that might be um something that's going on and um let's see one more part 
for the advice for Pisces. Then we have the Nine of Swords just telling you to relax your mind, to try to get some rest. It's almost like the Four of Swords as advice, but this is more of an extreme. Um, usually you say the Eight of Swords come through um, restriction, kind of uh, pulling yourself back. But then this is moving forward, but still stressed about what's there as you take a step forward or take a step away from something. So I'm just telling you to kind of relax your mind. I feel I'm quick on the Nine of Swords for advice. Yeah, advice. You're the Nine of Swords. Then we have the king of swords in reverse this is somebody who's not communicating or now when that's coming through in that way i i feel to say to you to um i want to say worry no don't worry but be aware um that you might be dealing with someone who's um manipulative or not being honest that's the king of swords in reverse so aquarius sleep or gemini or just a person in general that's not being honest with you um and that's something that might keep you up that might have you stressed and worried so i feel like that's in two ways try not to worry so much relax yourself but keep in mind that that's uh, an manipulative um it's an abusive connection if that's not something that's healthy for you if it feels um heavy disconnect from that all right so um what might be the outcome for Pisces? whoa <laughs> So we have um, the Page of Swords, and then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is the energy of um, either looking um, for trouble and then finding it, okay? So some of you might be spying, and then this is still the energy of kind of stay away from you. Um, I want to clarify both these people. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Whoa. Then we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, that's just popped out in my mind. So this is someone who you usually losing money or losing a job or not having a job or something like that someone borrowing money from you but then kind of ghosting you or kind of leaving in some way and you're trying to figure out what that person might be up to um let's see clarify the page of swords for Pisces. And then we have the ace of cups in reverse um it's almost like keeping your distance and then being emotionally closed off from another person or disappointed in some way um Let's see one more clarify the Knight of Cups. I mean the uh, Knight of Swords, Pisces. The world is there. So you find a closure with somebody or situation, whoever you might be dealing with. I mean, especially if you have a lot of it's either two children that came out and you might be dealing with another well, three children. Four. All of them came out. Um each each element. Um but all of them might be coming out in that way because it might affect you. But I feel like you're trying to pick closure to someone or something. All right. Um. Let's see. Messages for Pisces for let's see. Decent. Well, I said December. What? <laughs> January seventh to the thirteenth. January seventh to the thirteenth. Do we have to stay optimistic about your love life? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. And then we have uh. Let's see. So positive thinking. So when a non sword is showing it to me that you might not be thinking all that positive about whoever you might be dealing with, right? Um, maybe rightfully so, but um, try not to hold on to whatever memories or whatever it might be. So um, one more card for Pisces for. Then we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Um, the key words I start to realize in these cards is that this could be the one for sure. For some of you. Where the Hierophant is there, which is an energy of potential commitment from somebody. But that person um, closing, well, pushing away uh, from the connection with the Four of Cups being there, having issues there. And then the moon is coming up um, from confusion, not really sure, um, hesitant with a certain connection and wanting to be single and enjoying yourself because you sense something is off. So, um, I just feel like whoever it might be that they're not there it's um it's not healthy the king of swords to me and in, in all the readings that i've been doing in reverse it doesn't mean that that's automatically a bad person no in reverse yes um when it's coming out that way not being honest not communicating clearly so you might be dealing with something or a situation like, like that which could be very toxic so you need to keep that in mind as you go throughout the experience and figure out whether or not this person is the one they could but not if you know these energies are like that so that's going to be a reading i hope the messages did help out tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one